Hi everyone, welcome back to Sherryproof. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm just taking a really deep breath and exhaling because the last couple of weeks have been so stressful. I did not think I would have a video for today, but yes, we are here and I am so, so glad that I was able to get to do it. Um, So we are already in March, the third month of 2021. I mean, I know everybody always talks about how quickly time is flying, but my goodness, it is really flying so fast. And um, I realized that I have quite a few things that I have been loving in all kinds of categories that I want to share. So um i need to break it up because it might be a lot of stuff so i have like of course another amazon favorites video that's going to be coming up in a few weeks um i have some body care favorites because quite a few people have been asking me about the things that i do and my routine when it comes to that i will share that um i have i don't know some maybe some hair stuff and whatever a couple of skincare but you all know i'm always talking about skincare so i want to keep skincare out of this but today i want to talk a little bit about the things that i've been loving in makeup makeup over the last two months or maybe probably since the year started um and like are you guys wearing makeup i know i asked this but generally i am i wanted to do this for a while and i just kept putting it off and all that i know i shared my haul with you guys but i was kind of putting it off because i'm thinking you know like are you guys wearing makeup the thing is i I want to encourage you like if you are a makeup lover i mean if you're not into it that's fine but if you're a makeup lover makeup enthusiast like myself like put on some makeup even if you're home even if you're not going to the office, even if you're not going anywhere, just put on some makeup. Um, It's really just nice for, for me, it's personally a little bit therapeutic as well. I just love doing it. A lot of people say like, oh my God, you don't need makeup because of your skin and all that. Yeah, I probably don't, but I do like it, you know, so I'm always playing in makeup. And even though I'm still working from home one year later, could you believe that one year later into this COVID-19 pandemic, um, I am still wearing makeup. I don't wear makeup every day like i used to wear makeup but i do wear makeup at least a couple times per week now that churches have reopened and so on i will definitely do my full face even though i'm wearing a mask i will wear lipstick um <laughs> i'm going the full nine yards because guys life is too short wear your stuff use up your stuff and just have fun okay so this is just going to be really really light because i want to just share so we think that I've been loving. Yeah, let's get into it. <laughs> so incidentally, the first two items are from Urban Decay. And that's a brand that I have not spoken about for in a while. But I shared with you guys um, on Instagram and on Facebook in my feed about a couple of things that I would have gotten from Urban Decay and PR. And literally, I was not expecting to have this reaction. But I did a complete review on this item. So that's what I'll start with. And that's the Naked Wild West palette i keep saying wild wild west because i have like will smith in my mind and whatever but <laughs> anyway it's the naked the urban decay naked wild west palette and of course it's a part of their naked series that has been done like for i don't know 900 years now or something urban decay just really really loves these palettes but yeah i mean I was not expecting to love this as much as I do. It's the part that I have on my eyes. And these are the shades. Oh my God, I don't want to blind you. So let me see. Yes, how I can do this. Um, But what I will do is I will include some swatches and so on that I did that I posted on my Instagram page um, for you guys to see. The mattes in this palette are phenomenal. Most of the palette are mattes. And that's the thing. Like I love that because I love working with mattes. But not only that, the mattes are very, very high quality. They blend really well. Um, there is a little bit of fallout and that's because they are soft but they are hugely pigmented they show up beautifully on my skin tone I know there were like a lot of concerns from people when it was now posted like oh my god is that gonna work on anybody that's not you know like a medium skin tone or lighter but it totally does like I was really really impressed with how deep the pigments are they definitely come off deeper than they appear you know in photos and so on and what I love as well is the mix of the shades because they are let me try to not blind you yeah there are like cool tones and warm tones in that in this palette and i love that mix as well um because this i decided to go for the more cool tone part of the palette and while there is the pop of color with that like blue green shade i love that i could work and be like you could use it with a warm tone look but you could also use it with a cool tone look like the like i used today so i did that green like in my crease i did the kind of gray shade this gray shade here uh, over that I blended it out with this shade. Oh my God, guys, I'm sorry for the blinding. And then I put Cowboy Rick all over my lid. And this particular shade, it's kind of like a topper. Like it looks really metallic the way I, I have it on. Like I don't know if you could see that. But what I did is I wet my brush um to help it stay on a little bit better. 
but the thing about it is i love putting that one over a mat so i will use one of the lighter matte shades and the, the palette all over my lid and then i'll put that one on top and it stays beautifully the shadows last all day I haven't had any problems and i've been loving every single look that I have made with this palette. Like really, I'm shocked. <laughs> I'm really, really shocked that I do like it. And a lot of Urban Decay palettes, so these are 49 US dollars, but a lot of the palettes eventually do go on sale or something. So if you are interested in that because the color scheme appeals to you, because of that mix, because it's still very, very neutral, you could do everyday looks, you could do glam looks and still get a pop of color, definitely look out for it in case it goes on sale the next item is also from urban decay and one that i had used like many many years ago and totally forgot how much i loved it and it's the primer potion they send this with the palette and i was like when i put it on like my god i had bought so many tubes of this back in the like how many people remember using this and this is an eyeshadow primer and there's a difference between an eyeshadow primer and an eyeshadow base so most like a lot of people use the terms interchangeably and it's essentially there are also some primers that might also be bases but essentially like i said this is a primer this is what it looks like it comes out on the skin like that and then you just like blend it in on your eyelid and what it does is that it yes it's going to help the pigmentation of the eyeshadow but in general for me what i love about this product is that it not only enhances or lengthens the way of the eyeshadow but it prevents crease and all that and if you have lids that are very very wrinkly like mine that's a concern if you have lids that are very oily like mine that's also a concern and that's why i will generally use an eyeshadow primer before i go in with any base in general i use my concealers for a base but yeah this i i completely forgot how much i love this like how many people still use this oh my goodness it is good okay the next item that i have been totally loving and <laughs> some of you will be like but of course sherry i wasn't sure i really wasn't sure because i showed this in my haul and that's the pat mcgrath labs this is their sublime is a long name it's sublime fetish skin fetish sublime perfection blurring under eye powder and mine is in shade medium i showed you guys this already and i had my concerns because in the couple times that i had used it when i shared it in my haul my concern was the dryness now the thing about it is they described this and i wrote this down they described this as brilliantly blendable absolutely ultra weightless oh my goodness it is um under eye setting powder that brightens and blurs yes 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 for a luminous soft focus effect and the soft focus absolutely the thing that impressed me most about this under eye powder is the blurring effect it definitely does that in fact i want to put this all over my face and i'm thinking about buying the deeper shade in the eye powder just to put all over my face because the blurring of this powder is amazing for under the eye but the one caution that i had you know that i mentioned before which was the dryness is that that's why i'm surprised they said that there is a luminous look and i don't get that i get like a matte look under my eye which i don't mind i don't mind but the thing about it is i definitely need to moisturize the area well so i will i mean i usually put on eye cream so i will just make sure i put on a really nice emollient eye cream before this but i absolutely love this powder next item is a concealer that i've talked about so many times and yeah i should be talking about things that are newer to me um it kind of is but just listen to me right so it is the born this way multi-use sculpting concealer and i have spoken about this this remains my number one concealer i just love this concealer i have backups i have bought so many of these like the shade that i always used was warm beige and i've always just once i have an event a glam a wedding and a dinner whatever or anything that i want to look like really full coverage and put together i will reach for this concealer it has never failed me it is super long wearing very high courage coverage i love how it blends out and all of that but i think for one of the boxy charms that we got during the end coming along to the end of 2020 this was going to be in the box and we were able to choose the shade so since i had warm beige and i had backups of warm beige i said look let me try another shade to see what i think and that's why this is in this video so i had ordered the shade i had chose the shade san so like let me show you for those of you who use warm beige what they look like together like i don't know if you could see a difference it's very very slight but my goodness i am so sorry i don't have backups of san now warm beige i should probably do like a little swatch for you to see oh gosh look how much because you look how much you're wasting my time <laughs> okay like the like at, listen i don't know if anybody is going to be able to see that so was the new shade sand sand is on top warm beige is below could you see that sand is 
slightly deeper like ever so slightly and that's why i love it because warm beige gives me that really bright highlighted glamorous like you know when you're going to go in with contour and everything i love that look but that look is not necessary for every day so that's why it's not necessarily concealer that i would do on a daily basis but since i got sand every time i'm doing my makeup like all my last videos that you've been seeing i have been using that concealer because i love this shade um I, I still will get a highlighted look but it's not like overdone over the top and i really wish i had bought more <laughs> so if boxy does bring this back on sale bet your bottom dollar i'm going to be picking up some backups of sand and just in case you use warm beige definitely check that out i highly recommend it the last item that i'm going to talk about in my loves because if you hold on i'm going to tell you guys about some products that i did not let's say i don't fancy too much right so yeah um is this and it's a primer and this is by a brand called triderma pore reducing primer with oil control like i don't know if any of you guys have seen this or picked this up in your pharmacy because i think this brand is sold more so in pharmacy pharmacies now a couple weeks ago some weeks ago i got a package from this brand of products to try that was a, like mainly skincare products and there was this primer included and this kind of surprised me because i have not heard anybody talk about this but i actually like this primer and i've been using it like crazy so i mean they say pore reducing primer helps to minimize pores so automatically you're going to get the idea there's some type of silicone in here and there is that because once there is that silicone in that product it's going to help to smooth over kind of like a putty on your face so it's going to smooth over so that your foundation is definitely going to go on better and glide on nicer but the thing about it is this feels kind of like skincare going on on me and i'll kind of show you what it looks like so it comes out like this kind of creamy product and stuff when you're putting it on there's a lovely cooling sensation it feels almost kind of like a moisturizer but as it settles in because i will usually start in the area where i will probably have more visible pores and i'll rub it in there and then take the excess around my face i'll actually put some my forehead on my t-zone and it will literally if there's any shine and so on it will take it away but you will not feel dry matte i absolutely love that in fact i'm feeling that cooling hydrating sensation about this you know from this product and um, the base of this is actually aloe which is really really good and it takes away that shine and you're feeling that hydration from the primer this definitely has oil control properties so that has been amazing for me as well i have tried it i have worn it probably the most like 12 to 14 hours and it definitely helps in terms of how the oils come out with my foundations and has worked for most of the foundations i have tried obviously i have not tried it with every single foundation but the foundations that i've been loving and rotating i have not had any problems at all with this primer and i quite like it i mean if you all have tried it let me know i'm very very interested to hear what you have to say <sighs> and finally let's get into some of the products that i have not really been liking too much <laughs> for the last couple of months so i will start first with this because this is the one that i've had the longest and this is by beauty bakery now for those of you who follow me on instagram you all know that i do my boxy charm unboxings i have not done any for a while and they are piling up but when i got this palette in boxy charm i was really really excited because while most people like go off crazy on warm tone palettes which i do i also have a love for cool tone palettes simply because i have love looks that i've made with cool tone palettes before um i have some that i absolutely enjoy i have one from the balm that this one totally reminded me of in terms of the color scheme and i was really really excited when i got this but this turned out to be a complete failure on me the shadows okay they appear to be blending well but they just eventually disappear everything ends up looking so muddy like if i don't know what i'm doing i mean i'm not a professional makeup artist but i have been doing my own makeup for a long time and i think i kind of know what i'm doing kind of <laughs> when i use this palette i feel like my eyeshadow looks horrible i feel like like i look like if i'm just just starting out and i really don't know what i'm doing like i've never blended an eyeshadow before and i'm like is it me or is it the eyeshadow palette i tried about three times with this palette and every single time i got the same effect and i was like you know what i'm not gonna waste my time i really not gonna waste my time the shades are so so pretty i mean there's i mean just look at those burgundies and this the, the color selection in here really calls out to me um but no no and, and and even though they're like one or two shades inside here that could probably work 
it was just disappointing it was just disappointing the next item that i don't like too much and i mean this was strange for me is this this is by l'oreal and i love a lot of l'oreal makeup i think l'oreal has some of the best makeup at the drugstore um but this is a mascara i picked this up recently this is the bambi eye mascara and i don't know why because l'oreal lash paradise that is my jam i really love the l'oreal lash paradise i also love the which is the other one with the black tube waterproof the name that coming to me right now but i mean i have gone through tons of those the l'oreal lash primer and quite a few other mascaras from l'oreal as well that i like so i went to pennywise to, and i was picking up a couple of things and the rep actually recommended that i tried this one or another one the other one i can't remember the name was the big one that like has the bend and i figured my eyes are way too small for that brush so i said i'll go with this one so it has like this kind of i don't know if you've seen the bristles there like the camera just refusing to focus ah there we go focus these kind of bristles it was an interesting one so i thought okay maybe this might be too big for me to manage but i was able to manage it really well what i like about the mascara is that it really defines the lashes you could get that look but this one is the waterproof one and in general when i am trying mascaras i will get the regular but i will also get the waterproof because i use waterproof most especially when i'm going to church or i have long days um i have very sensitive eyes like sometimes my allergies will just start to act up in the middle of the day my eyes will start to run so in general i will be wearing waterproof mascara because i cannot afford the mess and this is where this completely let me down so i decided to wear it for the first time to church a couple weeks ago and i was on stage i was leading worship i was singing and so on and oh my lord listen to me when i came off the stage i will usually go up to the back you know chester um make sure everything's still in place and stuff drink some water and so on before i go back in and when i looked at my face if y'all see raccoon eyes oh my lord no no i have used i use many 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 waterproof mascaras i can't remember the last time that happened to me like how could you not stand that if it does not pass the church test for me it ain't good i'm sorry if you like this i'm sorry it just did not work for me so guys that's it for this video i have more things that i want to tell you guys but this is going to be way too long if you want to see more like this let me know because i have other items that i want to tell you guys about what i like what i haven't liked um in terms of you know what's been happening for the last couple months but yeah i look forward to your comments let me know what makeup item you've been using the last couple months that you've loved and something that you probably did like <laughs> i love to hear your comments on these kinds of topics and i'll see you guys in another video soon take care bye